October 2nd in the 36th day of school. I'm Mia. And I'm Taylor. Now to Paulina for the pledges. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Fruitville Pledge. I can be responsible, respectful, and resourceful with everything I do and say today. Thanks, Polina. Now it's time for Wacky Wednesday Trivia. If you have the answer, the number to call is 50612. Today is a first through third grade question only. We will be answering caller number one. The question is, what is a baby kangaroo called? The number to call is 50612. Hello, whose class is this? Miss Fortetti. Who's speaking? Hello. Um, I'm going to give you Daniel. Do you have the correct answer, Daniel? Do you have the correct answer, Daniel? Yes. What is, what is it? it? Echoey. Woo! The, oh, the correct answer is a baby kangaroo is called a joey. Now to Landry for today's menu. Today we will be having hot Cuban sandwich, personal pan pizza, French fresh spinach salad, oven fries, Santa Fe black beans, garden salad, cherry applesauce cup, fresh tangerine, and assorted fruit juice. Arg. Thank you, Andy. This just in. Soccer clubs and the chess club are all full. There will be no more applications accepted. Today on FPNN, we would like to recognize some important <coughs> poets in third grade. These poets came from Miss Johnson's second grade class last year and participated in the Sarah Mook Poetry Contest. There were poets that submitted their work from all over the world in this contest. There were four winners in the kindergarten through second grade category, and all four winners are students here at Fruitville Elementary. Now to Mr. French to recognize these students. I'm very proud of these students, and uh, just a couple things real quick before we get to them. First place winner got $100, second place got $50. 25 for third place, and honorable mention gets a uh, Target gift card, which I have in my pocket. Everybody else was already paid out. So here we go. Drum roll, please. We're going to go. All right. With an honorable mention poem, The Dream, written by the one and only Mr. Wyatt Morris. So Wyatt Morris, come on up. Congratulations, my man. Great job. All right. Next up. Third place, where I'm from, written by Olivia Pierce. Olivia Pierce, great job, girl. Third place, give a big mug there. Oh, we want everybody to say yes. Go. All right. In the second place, and again, there were many, many entries from all over the country. This isn't just something in Sarasota, not in Florida. It's in the United States. In second place. With the poem Sadness, written by Chloe Tankersley. So, Chloe, great job, girl. Let's see it. Yes, Chloe, go, go, go. And drum roll. First place, My Quiet Place, written by Alice Nori. So, Alice, come on up. This girl here is quite a poet. She won some contests last year as well. So, Look for her in a store near you with a book of her own poems. So congratulations, girl. Way to go. Congratulations to all our winners. We always do an outstanding job with our poetry, and what a, what a great way to express your feelings in poetry, right? So it's very, very good. I'm so proud of each and all four of you, so keep up the great work and representing Fruitville so well. So thank you guys very much. We will see you guys tomorrow. Back to the Anchors. Thank you, Mr. French, and congratulations to, the f to these four winners. What an awesome way to represent Fruitville. Now for a look at live school points. As of first thing this morning, Emerald is in the lead, par with Peridot and Gold trailing right behind them. Keep earning these live school points and supporting your ship. That's all for today's news. Thank you for watching another amazing episode of FPNN. I'm Mia. And I'm Taylor. We can have a wonderful Wednesday. See you tomorrow.